Hi, I'm Azelle from The Upcoming. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. So, Pat, I like your coat, by the way. Yes, yes. It's getting a lot of love today. I've rented this for the evening. Really? It's yes. good. Thank you. And so, perhaps you could start by telling us a little bit about the character that you play in, in Landscape. Yeah, so I play Detective Constable Emma Lansing, who is basically... Um, on the hot on the heels of uh, Susan and Christopher, she's kind of got a sniffer dog instinct for the truth, and she is gonna, she has got her spidey senses out, so thinks they're I guilty of murder, and you know, she's gonna pin it on them. The That's Emma, basically. <laughs> and how did you go about doing your research to play this part? Well, I started, you know, before the later drafts. I think my phone is going. Sorry, it's not real. But um, I started looking at documentaries. Uh, there's one called The Detectives, which is a great one in Manchester, and I watched 24 hours in police custody just to get a sense of how real people speak police talk. And also, I went to the house in Mansfield, just drove past it to get a sense of the, the place, and it just brought it home how strange it was because it's so quiet there and it's open how they no one realized that two people have been shot dead and buried in the garden it's kind of strange but once the once the later drafts came through it became clear that it was more a love story rather than true crime so i stopped doing research because it just kind of wasn't the flavor of the piece yeah yeah maybe did a little more motion into it with the effect of a love story yeah, it just it was a different tone it like true crime was the jumping off point so it just felt it was more important to get a sense of the world and to be really, Will was really clear about the function of her and just to play the counterpoint and the reality of the fact that two people murdered against this incredible love story fantasy thing. Yeah, just to balance it. And how is it working with Olivia and an all-star cast? Well, it was an absolute treat. I loved every minute. I mean, she's amazing. David's amazing. They're both extraordinary actors. They're both really generous and wanted the best for the production. I was saying that, um, you know, the extraordinary performances they give on screen, they're doing the same for you on your take off screen. You know, they give it everything and you don't see the seams. Like, it was kind of made it easier to act because they are so believable. You just kind of get lost in it. And you just hope you're just hanging on for bare life, just going, dear life, just going, keep riding this together, yeah. <laughs> And obviously, you know, there's a lot of obsession about crime series. They're really popular. So um, what do you think is so unique about this? The fact that the true crime is the stepping off point and then it goes really quite surprising places, you know. So it's not, it's artistic license with it. That's the starting point, but it's an epic love story. And I think that's what I loved about it. It's like Ed got the facts of the case, found out about this case, and he goes, yeah, well, it's clearly a love story. <laughs> it's like it's got an interesting angle, and I, I, I really respond to that. And I think the fantasy elements are fantastic in it, and we're involved in some of those too. Yeah, you, have you seen the episodes? No. I've only seen the trailer. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, Emma, uh, Emma, and Wilkie and uh, Douglas maybe pop up in a few of those, invade a few of those fantasy sequences, and I think that's probably there, so that the audience are never totally allowed to forget that. The reason we're all here is that two people were killed. So, you know, <laughs> we're just constantly trying to anchor anchor those guys in the truth of what's happened. And what do you hope viewers will take away from this? I just hope they relish the storytelling and relish the journey that they go on which and, and look forward to being surprised. She has uh, her spidey senses out, basically, for um, Christopher and Susan. She thinks... The Witchleys were murdered, she thinks they did it, and she's going to pin it on them. And she just goes hell for leather with that, basically. She's, she's sniffing them down. Everything about it is singular, from the characters of Christopher and Susan to the story itself, to the way Ed approaches the story, which is a surprising angle. And then with Will, who's just so talented, uh, with such creative vision, everything about it was distinctive. And that's what I was excited about. Look, I think Olivia is always such a truthful um, actress that you always believe she just gets to the nub of it. And I guess what I was amazed at, uh, amazed by working with her, was just her phenomenal instinct. She is not heady in any way. She can be chatting or having a laugh. The camera goes on and she can access anywhere on that emotional landscape very quickly. She's quite extraordinary, yeah.
I didn't really think about the comedy, to be honest. I guess the key was just to keep it straight, keep the guard up, and keep. Uh, uh, and I guess there's something about that Nottingham sensibility that's like no bull, like yeah. just going straight for it. Um, I didn't need to, didn't feel the need to get in any gags there because it's in the writing. So it was just playing the scene. So I actually didn't think too hard about the comedy. It's kind of already there.